Today we will cover how to work with multiple files on EDA Playground. As you can see by default when you open up EDA Playground you have two files, a testbench file over here and a design file over here. Now you can add additional files to your code uh, by clicking this plus button over here and typing in the file name over there and you can use any extension. Oftentimes you'd want to include a, a source file such as a system very log uh, file. On other times you may just simply have a, a text file like an info text where you can just type in generic generic text like data for your design uh, that will be loaded by your test bench. So let me give you an example of how to work with multiple files and with some real code. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, the sequence driver example. So as you can see, this is quite a large file that we have over here on the left side. This is the test bench. So that good practice is often to put individual classes into their own files. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to start with this sequence item. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the entire class here. And then I'm going to cut it and I'm going to create a new file for this class. So I'm going to call it uh, ADPCM seek item just like the class name and I'm going to give it an SVH extension. An SVH extension uh, and I'm going to copy it over there. An SVH extension is often used by uh, files that are included and this is going to be the case over here because I'm over here I'm going to type in include ADPCM seek item.svh. Now you can use an SV extension as well. It's, uh, it's up to you. Um, the main thing that's going to happen here is that all the text of that file is going to be included right over here. So this is where the original text was. So I'm going to just do the same thing for this uh, for this driver as well. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it into its own file adpcm driver.svh. I'm going to paste the text over there and I'm going to put the include statement here adpcm driver.svh. So now um, the text is a bit more manageable because you have a lot less text over here and you have these uh, sequence item class in, the, in their own file and the driver class in its own file so it's a lot better for, for examples uh, and for, for tutorials and things like that. Uh, so the compilation process by default um, the things that get compiled are the design and the testbench.sv files. And in order to get these other items in there, we have to use these include statements for, for system Verilog. So I'm going to go ahead and run this just to make sure it's working correctly. I'm going to open up the waves just to check. Alright, so the code is, is running now on the server. And the waves open up. As you can see, there's 10 transactions as expected. And you can see the data if we zoom in. Uh, so that's um, that's how things work for system Verilog. Basically, just to sum up, you should be using these include statements to include uh, additional source files uh, in your design. So now let's move on to uh, VHDL. So I'm going to open up this uh, OR gate example. So VHDL does not have include uh, in include statements like system Verilog that does. Uh, so what's going to happen is uh, you can create another file. We'll call it an AND gate here. And in order for it to be included by EDA Playground, you need to give it a VHD or a VHDL extension. I'm going to do VHD here. And then this file will be included in your compile. And the way the compile is going to work is basically uh, right to left. Basically, the design file is going to be compiled first. Uh, and test bench uh, afterwards. Now oftentimes it does not matter with, uh, with VHDL but uh, occasionally it does so just so you know. So I'm going to go ahead and put an AND gate in this AND gate.vhd and we're just going to modify this this OR gate over here into an AND gate and just to show you that everything's working properly we're going to go ahead and uh, switch out in the test bench instead of an OR gate. We're going to use the AND gate that we just created. Switch it out in a couple places. And uh, so let's give it a shot. And as you can see it runs and you can see it fails but it fails as expected because uh, 
with an AND gate, a 0 and 1 will give you a 0 and not a 1 because this test batch was written for an OR gate. Uh, so that's how our VHDL works. So another thing I want to mention is, you know, after creating files, it is possible to simply remove them by uh, clicking that X and, and confirming, and then, you know, that file is gone. Uh, so for uh, Python, Python's pretty straightforward. Um, it's, in fact, it's already, it's already present in examples is you need to use this import statement where um, the file name here is design corresponds to the file design.py. Uh, so that's how things work with Python.